Welcome to the Julie Lawton Living Podcast, the place to get advice, tips, and tricks to building the life and luxury home of your dreams with 30-year business owner, designer, and builder, Julie Lawton. It all starts with a good plan. This is Julie Lawton Living. Welcome back to another episode of Julie Lawton Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about design, style, and function. And before we get started, don't forget to check out the seven simple steps. So today we're going to talk about design, style, and function. What does that mean? So, you know, if you think about it, any home, any interior, any exterior, it has to be designed with design, it has to be designed with design in mind, style in mind, and function. So my big thing is, you know, does the space work? Because that's what we do first to function, the space planning. You can't, you know, live in the house nicely unless the space plan works and the rooms are laid out right and the windows are laid out right. So, and then, and then the design is the, is the style, like, you know, it it goes with the style, but the design is what are we designing specifically? Like, you know, are we designing an open kitchen or a clothes, you know, or, a, you know, open living? Well, most of them are open living, but the design overall is, is how is a home laid out design wise like and then the style is right behind it with is it all wood or is it all white or is it craftsman or is it mediterranean or is it ultra modern you know the 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 style is you know just like your clothes what style is it it's it's got a style when, when you walk up and look look at a house a curb appeal that that's what you see first is the style most people don't know what the design means Cause there's a, there's ultra modern, there's a, there's, there's brutalist modern with concrete. There's, there's, there's a chic modern. I mean, there's Miami vice modern. There's all kinds of modern alone itself has many different styles and famous architects to back that up. And then you have your Italian, your French country, your, you know, your um, Mediterranean, your Hacienda, it goes on and on and on. So the design is, um, you know, is the base of the history of the design and the history of architecture and then the style. They go together kindly, but nothing works without function. So it's, um, it's amazing if your home doesn't function, you know, it's horrible. So anyway, that's how, that's what design style function means. So design, like I said, doesn't feel good or work or, you know, it's the design, like where are the windows and how does it flow? So, the nitty gritty of that is the ergonomics. So when you walk up to a countertop and it's in the right spot for you, and even your bathroom counter height can be adjusted slightly if you're tall or short, depending on the, you know, seriously, there's two or three inches of adjustment we do for people over six feet and people under five feet or at five feet. So there's ergonomics is how the human body functions in the space. When you sit down at a chair, when you sit down on a sofa, when you reach for the coffee table, when you reach for the toilet paper holder, all those details are thought and out in advance for your body. So just so you know, custom design actually gets custom. So, you know, the size of your bed, I mean, the size, the height of your nightstands, I could go on and on and on, but everything you do in your home when you reach for a cabinet or, you know, you sit down and you want a place, to, you know, to put a drink, etc you that ergonomics is crucial and if people don't know what they're doing when they design oh my god you see it at the end and it's horrible and then you feel it you know and then it doesn't function so ergonomics backs up space planning so my biggest thing to determine the ergonomics and the space planning is you know what are you doing every day who's in your space who's cooking with you who's living with you what do they do you know in the space who does what who's who does what functions because everybody has a different role some people both some couples both cook some couples none of them cook some couples they just barbecue like me we barbecue we don't even use the stove you know um and some people entertain every day or some people have large families some people have small families it's how they actually function and use the home what are you doing on a daily basis what do you do on the holidays what do you do um, when you, when you know, entertaining is a big one because the space has to function for when you have a big group of people. And some people have are entertaining every weekend. Some people only entertain on the major holidays and they, the house needs to transform. So that's what it's about with the, the functioning. 
So one of the biggest challenges that during the design style function is getting the client to realize what is your style? Because some people really don't know and they don't really get it when they're talking about, you know, what they want because they're look, I can see they're looking at different styles and they're going down different rabbit holes of what they like. So it, I'm, so what I have to do is kind of help them see, Hey, guess, Oh, you like this. That means this and this go with that. And Oh, if you like this, this and this go with that. And so I, I try to pick apart each thing they're liking and take them down the road of what it'll look like once you put all that together. Now, the other hand, there's nothing wrong with eclectic, of course, because your furniture can do that. But when you design the building and the space, the actual space planning and the actual design and style and function, there is a theme, there is a look that we're going for. So I tried to take each of their individual likes and then explain what that's going to trigger and what that's going to look like and what, what it looks like better than I give them options on the big picture and product. And then that's how they decide, oh yeah, I like that better. So let's go with this. But it's a whole thing of adjusting and explaining the big picture and boom, there it is. So the difference between design and style is design is actually, you know, it's like a car. How are we designing the fender and the how the wheel sits in the fender. I, there's a million details about how is this going to look when we're done. Or, or so design in the house is the cabinet style is a look at the end, but the design of it is how, you know, what is the dimension of the cabinet door wood frame and the inset? And it's just, it's endless, um, the options. And there are standard options, but if you really think about it, it's endless. So the actual design is the technical part that is put on paper, the mechanical engineering of it all, the design to, you know, that we use to actually build it, the shop drawing. And then the style is what it looks like because we put the color on it, the stain on it. Is it wood grain? Is it oak wood grain? Is it mahogany wood grain? Is it a light stain, a dark stain? And that gives the style you know, so, cause the end style, you know, it's, it's the same as fashion. It, it's not how you, it's how you sew it together, but what materials you use and what color they are is the style. So, um, it's, it's fascinating, but it's, and it all has a meaning. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Julie Lawton podcast. I hope you enjoyed the explanation of design style and function and why it's so important to you to go through that process when you're working with your architect or your designer. And, um, Make sure that they show you the mood boards and the, that you go through the proper design process so you don't miss anything. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Julie Lawton Living. For more information or to connect with Julie one-on-one, -on -one, visit julielawtonliving.com. And don't forget, it all starts with a good plan.